What's up? It's Justin. It's Josh, and today we're gonna teach you how to rice out your car. You see all these stickers? Plus 10 horsepower, plus 10 horsepower, plus 10 horsepower. Just kidding, but today we're gonna unrice my car. My fucking DC Sport intake broke on me and shit. Look at that fucking ricer. Huh? Rice. Rice. That's how you know you drift. So, what we plan to do today is just do an oil change and put my stock intake back on until I can find an aftermarket one. This is my 2JZ JTE Turbo, super minuscule turbo right there. Stay tuned. All right, so first what we're gonna to need to do is take off the bolts right there, right there, right there. Take off that bolt, take off the hoses, and then probably, probably gonna do that one too, but that should be it, nothing too hard. Hopefully, I can get this done. All right, I think I think we're gonna need to jack up the car for this, Josh, to just take off the intake. I think, you know, I'm not too sure what to do, but hopefully, this all goes well. Alright, make sure you guys put the bolts to the side so that you don't lose them. Alright, now that the cover's gone, we can disassemble the intake and take it off. What'd you say, sir? This is my rice cooker. After inst installing your intake or uninstalling your intake, whatever you want to call it, you just gotta make sure before you tighten everything down, make sure everything's back in place where they are before you fully give it that 100% nut job. And then I think we should be set. On to phase two the ricer oil change. Alright, guys, so ricer tip number one if you wanna go fast, you gotta mix full synthetic with non full synthetic. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's some ricer talk right there. I just run full synthetic, high mileage, just because my car does have high miles. Ricer tip number two. You don't actually need this fucking intake. This just slows you down. Fuck this piece of shit intake. Another tip. You gotta have a wing on your car if it's a race car. You see my wing so much downforce that it broke my wing rice life all right next tip to ricing out your car you gotta have mismatched rims that is how you produce the most speed in your race car what's up scraping big justin here we about to do an oil change got the buff ass nigga right here and the chill nigga let's do this I don't even know how to change your way, so I don't even know how to change your way, so Bad bitch, love me game, swap up for the burger yeah. Fuck that shit you heard, it's still that niggas love me worse if I can see you And now we got a covering car Do not try that as a home Alright To be honest, me and my friends do not know what we are doing We are just trying whatever we want because we're bosses. Just kidding. But I highly suggest if you don't know what you're doing, please seek professional help. After you jack the car up, you have to go to the engine bay. This is your oil drain bolt. After you remove this, you're good to go. And just like that, your oil is done. Let's go, guys. Let's go. No, I'm just kidding. 
It will be easier to drain the oil if you remove the filler cap because it allows the air to flow through the engine instead of having it like cleared up or blocked, I should say. Okay, so I've located the oil drain plug right there. And now I'm gonna do this shit. <sighs> All right, the trick is for this to make sure you pull this bitch out fucking fast. Oh shit, oil's leaking everywhere. All right, pull this bitch out fast so oil doesn't leak out. Oh, fuck me. All right, it's all good. We're good. Can I get a napkin? I just got oil on my hand. Thank you. When your oil filter is in a shitty ass position, you need three guys to take it off. This is why you get a super, bro. All the way down, fucking there. You guys got it. Oh my god, I'm, I'm just looking, man. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. Oh, yo shit. I'm supposed to get it out. Oh, that oil is really hot. You might have to drop it. Oh. Ah, don't drop. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. All right. Now, now what you need to do is try to install it back in. Gonna... All right, here you go, sir. All right, tip for installing new oil filter: make sure it is the same size, and that you put and, oil, and that you grease the seal, or else it won't form a proper lubrication, and the bitches won't like your car. Alright, install time. Alright, we just finished putting ricing out my car at the different rims. Got the oil change, fixed my other car maintenance and the intake and shit, and now we're off to fucking Mexico.